The Basset Hound is a short-legged breed of dog in the hound family. The Basset is a scent hound that was originally bred for the purpose of hunting hare. Their sense of smell and ability to ground scent is second only to the Bloodhound. The typical lifespan of this dog is between 10 and 12 years. Basset Hounds are one of six recognized Basset-type breeds in France. The name Basset is derived from the French word bass, meaning low, with the attenuating suffix et together meaning rather low. Basset hounds are usually bicolours or tricolours of standard hound coloration. Bassets are large, short, solid, and long, with curved saber tails held high over their long backs. An adult dog weighs between 20 and 35 kilograms, 44 and 77 pounds. This breed, relative to its size, is heavier boned than any other. This breed, like its ancestor the Bloodhound, has a hanging skin structure, which causes the face to tend to have a sad look, this, for many people, adds to the breed's charm. The dewlap, seen as the loose, elastic skin around the neck, and the trailing ears which along with the Bloodhound are the longest of any breed, help trap the scent of what they are tracking its neck is wider than its head. This, combined with the loose skin around its face and neck means that flat collars can easily be pulled off. The previous FCI standard described the characteristic skin of the Basset, which resembles its ancestor the Bloodhound as loose. This wording has since been updated to supple and elastic. The looseness of the skin results in the Basset's characteristic facial wrinkles. They drool a lot due to their loose flues. The Basset's skull is characterized by its large long nose, which is second only to the Bloodhound in scenting ability and number of olfactory receptor cells. The Basset's short legs are due to a form of dwarfism. Their short stature can be deceiving, Bassets are surprisingly long and can reach things on tabletops that other dogs of similar heights cannot. Because Bassets are so heavy and have such short legs, they are not able to hold themselves above water for very long when swimming, and should always be closely supervised in the water. The short-haired coat of a Basset is smooth and soft, and sheds constantly. Any hound coloration is acceptable, but this varies from country to country. They are usually black, tan, and white tricolors or tan and white bicolors. Tan can vary from reddish brown and red to lemon. Lemon and white is a less common color. Some Bassets are also classified as gray or blue. This color is considered rare and undesirable in the show ring. The source of color is the E locus, MC1R, which has four alleles, M, E, G, E, and A. The M, E, and E alleles are present in the Basset hounds. The E allele allows for the production of both red and black pigments, so is present with the majority of color patterns in Basset hounds. Red and lemon colors are caused by the E allele of MC1R. The E allele is recessive, so red and lemon dogs are homozygous E slash E lemon dogs are lighter in color than reds, but the genetic mechanism that dilutes via melanin in this instance is unknown. No black hairs will be present on either red or lemon dogs. If there are any black hairs, the dog is officially a tricolor. Basset hounds are renowned for their gentle, docile demeanor. The M allele produces a black mask on the face that may extend up around the eyes and onto the ears. This pattern is most easily seen on mahogany dogs, although any Basset color pattern may express the M allele, except for red and white or lemon and white due to E slash E. Many Bassets have a clearly defined white blaze and a white tip to their tail, intended to aid hunters in finding their dogs when tracking through underbrush. Like all dogs, the Basset hound's coat is naturally oily. The oil in their coat has a distinctive hound scent, which is natural to the breed. The Basset hound is a friendly, outgoing, and playful dog, tolerant of children and other pets. They are extremely vocal and famously devoted to tracking. They are also widely known for being stubborn. Prospective owners must be prepared to handle Bassets firmly and patiently. Basset hounds have large pendulous ears, known as leathers, that do not allow air to circulate inside them, unlike other breeds with erect or more open ears. Their ears must be cleaned inside and out frequently to avoid infections and ear mites. Short stature edit according to the Basset Hound Club of America, the height of a Basset should not exceed 14 inches or 36 centimeters. The Basset Hound's short stature is due to the genetic condition osteochondrodysplasia, meaning abnormal growth of both bone and cartilage. Dwarfism of this type in most animals is traditionally known as achondroplasia. Basset Hounds, Dachshunds and Bulldogs are a few of the dog breeds classified as achondroplastic. 
This bone growth abnormality may be a predisposing factor in the development of elbow dysplasia seen in the breed, which leads to arthritis of the elbow joint. A common eye condition Basset hounds developed called cherry eye. In addition to ear problems, Basset hounds may be susceptible to eye issues. Because of their droopy eyes the area under the eyeball can collect dirt and become clogged with a mucus. Basset hounds are prone to yeast infections in the folds around the mouth, where drool can collect without thoroughly drying out. Overweight Basset hounds develop many serious health issues, including bone and joint injuries, gastric dilatation volvulus and paralysis. The only recent mortality and morbidity surveys of Basset hounds are from the UK, a 1999 longevity survey with a small sample size of 10 deceased dogs and a 2004 UK Kennel Club Health survey with a larger sample size of 142 deceased dogs and 226 live dogs. See mortality and morbidity below. Median longevity of Basset hounds is about 10.3 years in France and 11.3 years in the UK, which is a typical median longevity for purebred dogs and for breeds similar in size to Basset hounds. The oldest of the 142 deceased dogs in the 2004 UK Kennel Club survey was 16.7 years. Leading causes of death in the 2004 UK Kennel Club survey were cancer, 31%, old age, 13%, gastric dilatation volvulus, 11%, and cardiac, 8%. Among the 226 live Basset hounds in the 2004 UKC survey, the most common health issues noted by owners were dermatologic, such as dermatitis, reproductive, musculoskeletal, for example, arthritis, and lameness, and gastrointestinal, for example, gastric dilatation volvulus and colitis. Basset hounds are also prone to epilepsy, glaucoma, luxating patella, thrombopathia, von Willebrand disease, hypothyroidism, hip dysplasia, and elbow dysplasia. The Basset type originated in France, and is descended from the 6th century hounds belonging to Saint Hubert of Belgium, which through breeding at the Benedictine Abbey of Saint Hubert eventually became what is known as the Saint Hubert's Hound around 1000 AD. Saint Hubert's original hounds are descended from the Laconian, Spartan, Hound, one of four groups of dogs discerned from Greek representations and descriptions. These scent hounds were described as large, slow, short-legged, and deep-mouthed dogs with a small head, straight nose, upright ears and long neck, and either tan with white markings or black with tan markings. Laconian hounds were reputed to not give up the scent until they found their prey. They eventually found their way to Constantinople, and from there to Europe. The first mention of a Basset dog appeared in La Venerie, an illustrated hunting text written by Jacques du Fouillou in 1585. The dogs in Fuyu's text were used to hunt foxes and badgers. It is believed that the Basset type originated as a mutation in the litters of Norman stag hounds, a descendant of the St. Hubert's hound. These precursors were most likely bred back to the St. Hubert's hound, among other derivative French hounds. Until after the French Revolution around the year 1789, hunting from horseback was the preserve of kings, large aristocratic families and of the country squires, and for this reason short-legged dogs were highly valued for hunting on foot. Basset-type hounds became popular during the reign of Emperor Napoleon III, r. 1852-1870. In 1853, Emmanuel Fermayat, the leading sculptor of animals in his day exhibited bronze sculptures of Emperor Napoleon III's Basset hounds at the Paris Salon. Ten years later in 1863 at the first exhibition of dogs held in Paris, Basset hounds attained international attention. The controlled breeding of the short-haired Basset began in France in 1870. From the existing Bassets, Count Elie Coutilx of Cantaleo fixed a utilitarian type, with straight front legs known as the Chien d'Artois, whereas Mr. Louis Lane developed a more spectacular type, with crooked front legs, known as the Basset Normand. These were bred together to create the original Basset RTCN Normand. French Basset hounds were being imported into England at least as early as the 1870s. While some of these dogs were certainly Basset RTCN Normans, by the 1880s line breeding had thrown back to a different heavier type. Everett Millet, who is considered to be the father of the modern Basset hound, bred one such dog, Nicholas, to a bloodhound bitch named Inoculation through artificial insemination in order to create a heavier Basset in England in the 1890s. The litter was delivered by cesarean section, and the surviving pups were refined with 
French and English Bassets. The first breed standard for what is now known as the Basset Hound was made in Great Britain at the end of 19th century. This standard was updated in 2010. The Basset Hound was bred to hunt, with a keen nose and short stature suited to small game hunting on foot. Tell me your favorite breed of dog and why.